I'll turn the light on so you can see it. Jim Hughes surrounds yeah. himself with memories of a time that most people would rather forget. It's just unbelievable what went on over there. And I still get emotional when I talk about it. Hughes was a 20-year-old Marine Corps private first class when he found himself smack in the middle of one of the most brutal and pivotal battles of the Korean War. 65 years ago this month, the 1st Marine Division was surrounded and vastly outnumbered by the Chinese Army in a surprise attack at Chosin Reservoir in the mountains of Northeast Korea. The New York paper one time had the headlines, uh, Marines doomed at Chosen. They fought back against the relentless attacks for 17 days. They came in, yeah, by the thousands. And at night, they, they always hit you at nighttime. The troops were trapped in some of the worst weather in 50 years, with temperatures plummeting to more than 30 below zero. Food froze, weapons froze, frostbite and pneumonia took a terrible toll. Why we got frostbite, we had the uh, <clears throat> rubber boots. So you'd walk for three miles and your feet would sweat. And then of course when you stop, they'd freeze. Eventually, the division managed to fight its way 78 miles back down a mountain pass to safety, bringing 91,000 Korean refugees with them. Jim Hughes, who came back home to Maine and a job as a dispatcher for the Portland Fire Department, had nightmares about the horror he witnessed for decades. Nevertheless, at 87 years old, he continues to share the story of what happened at Chosin Reservoir whenever he can. Well, I still meet people that don't know anything about the Korean War and never, never heard of the Chosin Reservoir. He keeps the memories alive, he says, because it's the one thing he can do honor those who didn't come home. Now remember, all my buddies till the day I die. In Gorham, Susan Kimball, Portland Press Herald.